Hello friends, today is Friday, 22nd of October, the year 2021. And now I'm doing a little bit more mock-up, but I have uh, also been doing much work with the uh, cleaning up from uh, the other boat coming back. And now I put up a little bit here and I put up a little bit here. And it should be, I mean, you know, counting the centimeters to do a very good. And here's 173, but the bulk is gonna be three centimeters deep in the cell. So I have to think about that too. And then some people say, well, why don't you even make a little bit bigger? But, well, I'll give you the explanation over here. So, long time ago, 1967, I have this boat, Anna, and here is in Sweden, on the island I was born on, and this is all small islands here. And first, 67, I sailed it around Sweden and Denmark, and it was very good, I was happy with it. It's a little off deck, and here is I could live in. And there was Eleanor and Martin, two French girls. And then, 68, I started sailing to Denmark. I sailed to Germany. And people said, oh, what a small boat. You go all this way in a small boat. Better get a bigger one. And then I sailed to Holland. And of course, everything went very well, you know. But people said, oh, what a small boat. You, why do you have a small boat going so far? Better a big one. And then I sailed to Belgium, and then I sailed to England, and eventually I ended up in um, Kaos on Isle of Wight in England on the south coast. And the same thing, people were very friendly, but this, I was going to continue. But people say, no, it's too dangerous. The boat is too small, and also it has no comfort, and it doesn't have any speed. And if you get a bigger boat, it's more easy to get girls and things like this. Well, that's so, Maybe I get a bigger boat, I, but I didn't have much money. So I saw, you know, Captain Joshua Slocum with spray. He fa found spray in a field derelict and he fixed it up. I said to myself, I find another wreck in Sweden and fix it up to a boat. I went back to Sweden in November and I bought this. It was an old steam launch, it was made 1885. It had a lot of problems in being on Lake Vettern and had a fire and it was sinking to the bottom and finally, you know, a uh, lorry man brought it back to Göteborg and then he gave it up, you know, it was too much work. It was 12 meters long, 40 feet, but I got it very cheaply, so I said, well, I fixed it up. And people said, they all were so. Now when is this gonna be fixed? I bought it in November, and when a friend of mine, I said in May next year, I sailed to America in this. And they were like laughing at me, but working hard in, uh, it didn't, it took more than May, you know. Oh, I'll forget this picture. But anyway, so in August was this. And then I sailed it to England, and then to Madeira, and then to Canary Islands, and then down to Rio de Janeiro. And I realized, you know, big boat, big problems. So I thought to myself, I uh, make a little boat instead. Less problem. So, in my mother's basement, I built this boat. First, I saw, I built it in the garden. But then the town planner came and said, do you got the permission? What do I need permission? What do I need permission for? Well, he said, what would happen if everyone built a boat in the garden? It wouldn't work. So I was thinking a little bit and then I asked him, what would happen if everyone was a town planner? Wouldn't work either. 
But then he only got angry. But my mother said, well, Sven built it in the, in the basement. Then he doesn't know what we're doing. And I started in midsummer 1971. 1972 it was ready. And 1974, I'm down here in Argentina with Janneke, a girl I found in Holland or she found me, or we found each other. And now we're preparing to sail around Cape Horn. And, but down there, was strong winds near Cape Horn. The boat capsized. A week later, it was pitch pulled. Well, anyway, later I sailed to Tristan Acuna, and then sailed up to St. Helena, to Martinique, USA, Azores, back to Sweden. And then 1983, I sailed to Newport and Rhode Island again, you know, so it's got a lot of things. So small boats are good. This is six meter long, 1.72 meter beam. And the new boat is 6.27. So it's like 27 centimeter longer, but it's more narrow. It's 1.4 meter instead of 1.72 and like the, the lesson, moral the lesson is this. If you watch out for the pennies, the dollars will take care of themselves. If you watch out for the centimeters, the meters take care of themselves. So this is why the boat is not bigger. This is why I don't expand it. And a small boat is very handy and very good to have. So thank you very much for today and uh, have a good time.